sad and shell-beaten. This is just one of the broken minarets that punctuate the skyline of Aleppo's old city, a World Heritage site that was battered by bombs for years. Reuters' Angus McDowell is there. I'm standing on top of the Great Souk of Aleppo. This is a restored part of the roof. And, of course, this whole area around me has been the subject of a great deal of work. But it is just one stretch. It's about 100 metres long, and it's been very beautifully put back together. But Aleppo had 13 kilometres of souk and the extent of damage is in some places just unbelievable. Restoration work in Syria is controversial. With the exception of Islamic State which deliberately targeted ancient ruins, all sides in the war have portrayed themselves as guardians of historical sites and their enemies as vandals. Western countries that have imposed sanctions on Assad's government oppose any reconstruction work until there is a political solution to the conflict. They argue it would reward him for war crimes they say he has committed, but which he denies. And that has cut off most funding from the nations that are normally top donors for cultural work. If you look around, you can see so many other historic mosques which are in very poor shape. There's one right here, the minaret has a terrible gash down the side from shelling and there are many others when you look around the city that are also in very poor condition and if there is not work on them then there is a danger of collapse. Now whether there can be funds to restore these is the big question because at the moment there is only the money to work on a few parts of this magnificent old city. A few of the most famous monuments are slowly recovering. At the Amayad Mosque, bullet scarred walls are being refaced and the minaret is ready to be rebuilt, but progress is slow. In December, the UN Cultural Agency, UNESCO, said 10% of Aleppo's historic buildings were destroyed. More than half the buildings they assessed showed severe to moderate damage.